Next calculator technique that we're going to learn is on how to find for the slope and for the y-intercept of a regression. And in here, we can also find for the summation of x, summation of y, summation of xy, x squared, and y squared. So to do that, we're going to use this calculator. So again, always clear the memory. So we're going to press mode one. And since we're done with that, press mode, and then we will now proceed to stat, which is number three. And we have number two, which is a plus b, uh, a plus bx, so number two. So as we can see, we have two tables here for the x and then the y. It means the values that we're going to input are the values for x and the values for y. So let's start. For, for the first data, we're going to enter 50. That is for the X and, okay, enter. And then we have 65 and we have 75, 100. And we have 125, 140, 170 and one. 95. Next is we will now proceed to y. So we have the value for y. So 45 corresponds to 50. And we have 60. We have 80, 95, 120, 150, 145. And the last one is 190. Next is Again, in some of the calculator, if we're going to press shift and stat, as we can see, we only have until number three here. But then we are looking for the other value or, or other um, data here. Since we don't have until number six, we're going to press AC, okay, until it will go back to zero. And next is press shift, stat. So we already have the reg there, regression. And we also have the sum. Number three and number five are the things that we need in here. If we want to find for the summation of x, we're going to choose number three, let's say three. So as we can see, we already have the summation of x, summation of y, summation of x squared, y squared, and so forth. So let's try summation of x squared, number one equals summation of x squared. So we have the x squared here. The sum is 1, uh, 124,500. So we got it right. How about for the summation of x? So go back, shift, stat, sum, and number two. So summation of x, so that is 920. So if you want to check if your solution is correct, you can use now this. And how about here? If we want to find for A and if we want to find for B, that is, this is for the slope and this is for the y-intercept. Next is, again, press shift, stat, and we're going to choose reg or regression, stands for regression, number five. As we can see, we have A and B there. So if you want to solve for A, press 1 and then equals. So we got 2.543. And if we want to find for B, so go to number 5. So let's press number 2. And that will now become equal to 0 0.94 if we're going to round that off. That is how to use our calculator in finding for the slope and the y-intercept of our regression.